and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks so much for clicking in on the video. As you can tell by the title, today we are making lemon pound cake. This is super quick to throw together and it's perfect for Mother's Day coming up this weekend. As always, I will leave all the ingredients and their measurements in the description box below, but for this recipe, you will need lemon juice, some granulated sugar, some lemon zest, three whole eggs, Greek yogurt or sour cream, a stick of unsalted butter softened at room temperature and then in my dry ingredients I just have some flour, some salt, baking soda and baking powder. Also I completely forgot to mention but you will also need some vanilla extract. Let's go ahead and get started. So for this recipe I used my standing mixer fitted with my paddle attachment but you can use an electric mixer as well. A hand mixer works just fine. What you're going to want to do first is cream together your butter and sugar. So I just added in my stick of butter softened at room temperature together with my granulated sugar and I just set it on low first just to get things nice and incorporated and then I turned up the speed to high just to cream together those two ingredients. I then turned my mixer down to a lower speed and I added in my vanilla extract. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that I love the Molina Mexican Vanilla Blend. It's my favorite and I use it for all of my desserts. Not sponsored, but I wish I was. Then I went ahead and cracked my eggs into a separate bowl and added them into my mixer one by one. Next, I added in my lemon zest. And I went ahead and squeezed my lemon into a separate container just to make sure that I wasn't getting any seeds into my batter. And then I went ahead and just added that into my mixture. So I stopped my mixer and I gave my bowl a good scrape. So I like to make sure that I scrape my bowl before adding in my dry ingredients just to make sure that everything is nice and combined. And our last wet ingredient, we're going to add in our Greek yogurt. This is plain Greek yogurt, but you can use sour cream if you wish. Once all of your wet ingredients are mixed together, you're gonna go ahead and add in your dry ingredients. And all I did was give it a quick mix to combine all of my dry ingredients with a whisk. And then I just added it in, in two parts. Do keep in mind that when you're mixing this together, you just want to mix until all of your ingredients are combined. You don't wanna over mix this because that will alter the final outcome and the texture of your cake. So once our batter is ready, just set it aside and take a loaf pan. I used, I believe this is a nine inch loaf pan and you're just gonna spray it down with some Baker's Joy or some nonstick cooking spray. And then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is take a piece of parchment paper and you're just gonna push it down and make sure that it covers the bottom and the sides. It doesn't have to be perfect. Go ahead and fold over the top or you can cut it, but do make sure to leave like two little handles because this is what's gonna help us just pull our loaf straight out of the loaf pan. And just go ahead and add your batter into the loaf pan. Make sure to scrape the bowl, get all your batter, scrape your spoon, and smooth out the top. 
Next, preheat your oven to 325 degrees. And once your oven is nice and hot, go ahead and bake this for one hour. And this is how my pound cake looked straight out of the oven. Mine baked slightly over an hour. I would say it baked for about 65 minutes and it got this golden brown color and it was absolutely perfect once we sliced it. And this is what I mean about the parchment paper. The moment it comes out of the oven, you just pull it straight up through those little parchment paper handles and it's so easy to take out of your loaf pan and just set onto your cooling rack. Now what I did was I set it onto my cooling rack and I let it completely cool. And then off camera, I didn't show this guys because it's literally so easy. I went ahead and made a lemon icing for the top. And all this is, is just half a cup of powdered sugar with the juice of half of a lemon. So the other half of the lemon that you didn't use in your recipe, you use to make your icing. It's simple as that. Take half a cup of your powdered sugar, squeeze the juice of half of a lemon, mix it together, and then you're just going to want to drizzle that or pour it on top of your completely cooled pound cake. Do make sure that your pound cake is completely cooled before icing so that your icing does not just get runny and melt off. And this is how my lemon pound cake turned out once I sliced it and iced it. Guys, do give this recipe a try if you're having a Mother's Day get together or if you just want to make something special for those special moms in your life. I am sure that any mom would be happy to have this treat. It is so delicious. If you do give this recipe a try, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I'll leave it right down here. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I wish you all a beautiful week, a very, very happy Mother's Day. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and click on that subscribe button if you want to see more recipe videos coming very, very soon. I wish you all a great week, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.